Samantha, how are you? Nice to see you on. Hi everyone, welcome to the Facebook and Instagram Live. I'm Christine Dahl, founder of Fashion Angel Warrior. We do these lives every Tuesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time inside the Facebook group, the, Fas the Fearless Fashion Printer, and on Instagram as well. So I'm super excited to have all of you here. I'm gonna wait a couple minutes for everyone to get on. Hi, Samantha, how are you? Nice to meet you. Um, definitely give me your hearts, give me your thumbs up. I love hearing from all of you. Hi, Evan, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, I hope you're all enjoying your end of your summer. It's pretty rainy up here in New York, but I had a very awesome day. I got to speak at the BFDA, the Brooklyn Fashion Design Accelerator this morning, so I'm super excited. And uh, we're gonna talk about how fashion relates to your bit, I'm sorry, how fitness relates to your fashion business and how it can actually help you to succeed. So I wanna hear from all of you. Definitely give me those hearts, give me those thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video. If you're on Facebook, it's very easy. You can just click the share button. If you're on Instagram, you can tag someone that you might think might love watching these videos. So tag a fashionpreneur, tag someone who's starting a fashion business, or really just any entrepreneurs as a lot of this information does transfer over. Also, if you do have any questions as we go along, definitely let me know. Type in the comments box. Let me know what your thoughts are as we go along. I love hearing from you. I want this to be very interactive. This is for you guys, so definitely keep me posted. Okay, so let's get started. So how can fashion help you succeed? I'm sorry, how can fitness help you succeed? I didn't get much sleep last night. How can fitness help you succeed in your fashion business? So I've always been a huge fan of working out. I was never one of those types of people that you had to drag to the gym. I just naturally always loved working out. And when I was younger, I even debated, you know, do I wanna be a fashion designer or do I wanna be a personal trainer? And I kinda of went back and forth on both of them. And I obviously picked a fashion designer and sometimes I regret that decision um, with all the crazy Devil Wears Prada people in this industry. But no, seriously, I am very happy with my decision, but I secretly have always also wanted to be a personal trainer. So we'll see if one day in my life I um, might transfer over to that position. But I've always been motivated to go and really there's just so many benefits and so many reasons why going to the gym is so great and I'm convinced that working out definitely has had a huge part in all of the success that I've had, not only in my career, but also in my business. So I think that working out and working hard definitely go hand in hand. And so it's really kind of important that you are working out or doing something physical. It doesn't have to be going to the gym or lifting weights, but something physical. Maybe you like to play sports, maybe you like to dance, you know, doing something physical is so, so important. So that's really good. And then of course, I also find often that I feel like sometimes I am a personal trainer or I can at least understand personal trainers in the um, way that when I work with my clients. So I've often found that clients who don't listen to me are the ones that don't have results and the ones that do are the ones that do have results. So it's kind of like when you go to the gym and your personal trainer tells you, okay, you need to work out four times a week and don't eat any pizza. And then you go back to the gym a week later and your trainer asks you how you did and you're like, okay, I didn't work out at all and I ate pizza the whole week. You're obviously not going to lose weight unless you follow what your personal trainer tells you. So I do feel like a personal trainer sometimes which is kind of funny um, and I can understand where they're coming from and really that's one of the reasons that I'm very selective with the clients that I work with because it only benefits me and really you if you're willing to be coachable and listen to what I have to say. So let's get into our topic. So let's talk about mindset because I really think that the key to success in business and with working out really it comes all down to mindset. You know, at what point are you willing to give up? At what point are you going to tell yourself that you can't do it or quit because you think it's too hard or you think that the weight is just too heavy and you can't lift even one more? You know, are you constantly telling yourself that you can do it and you're training your mind to think positively or are you constantly telling yourself, I can't do it and you're training your mind to actually think negatively? Hi, leadership girl. Liz, how are you? Nice to see you on. So your mind is a muscle, just like the regular muscles in our body. And so it's really important that you work out that muscle. Hey Nadine, how are you? Nice to see you. So it's really important that you important that you work out your mind as a muscle along with the rest of the muscles in your body. And one way to do that is 
by going to the gym, you know? And I find that the more I push myself in the gym, the more that I push myself in my business. You know, if I do one more rep or increase the weight by just five pounds, you know, the next time I go, it's the same as uh, answering one more email or staying up one more hour to get more work done or taking one more sales call or something like that. So I really do find that they go hand in hand. So let's talk about the couple different things that I have that, uh, eight different tips that I have that will, the benefits of working out. So number one, it makes you happier and helps you to regain control of your mood. So when, whether you're stressed or frustrated or you're feeling tired or exhausted or maybe you're even just feeling down or depressed, working out will definitely help you because it will release endorphins which actually help to elevate your mood. And it's been shown that people who are happy are actually 12% more productive. So for that reason alone, I definitely would want to work out. Number two, it can even help to build up your self-esteem. So. Once you see that you can start to do all these things at the gym, you'll start to feel like, okay, I can do anything and I can conquer anything that life throws at me, right? So once you start to be able to do all these things, once you start getting stronger, it will actually help increase your self-esteem. You'll feel more empowered and more likely to take a leap of faith, especially in your business. Does anyone agree with me on this? Okay, I see your hearts, I see your thumbs up, so I'm guessing that you all agree that it definitely helps to build your self-esteem. I know for me, when I take a long period of time off and I'm not going to the gym and then I go back and I feel like oh my gosh no muscle recover no muscle memory like what happened I used to be able to lift this much and now I can only lift this much and I feel really weak and then it takes me a while to build it back up so I try not to stop going to the gym just for that reason alone so that it doesn't mess with my mind and it keeps me in that state of okay I'm constantly doing more and I can do anything and kind of having that attitude and obviously building up your self-esteem. Okay, number three, it actually increases your energy. So working out will release endorphins and adrenaline. And adrenaline leaves you with an increased perceived strength. It also helps to diminish your sense of pain and increase your energy and awareness. And studies have shown that you can actually gain up to four extra hours of productivity just by working out every single day. So for that reason alone, I definitely want to work out. You know, the more energy you have, the more you're able to get done, the faster you are, the more productive you are, etc. So working out can definitely help with that. It also helps you, number four, to stay disciplined. So by setting a schedule and saying, I'm gonna work out on these days, or these are my goals of losing X amount of weight or gaining this amount of muscle. Hi, Luma, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, it can really help you start to become more disciplined. Hey, Cleo, how are you? Nice to see you on. So that will really help you to stick to your goals, not only in fitness, but also in your business. And as you practice the discipline of planning your workouts and achieving your goals, that's definitely just going to carry over into your business and you're gonna to start to form really great habits of follow through and being consistent. Nice to see you too, thanks for joining. So that leads me to number five, which working out definitely helps to build better habits. I know for me, when I'm working out consistently, it also helps me to actually eat healthier. And I think the reason is because working out actually links your brain with your body. And so subconsciously, I just, my body naturally starts to crave healthier food because your body knows what it needs. And when you're working out, you're depleting a lot of things in your body and that needs to be restored in your body, right? So your body's naturally going to start to crave healthier things. Plus, I know for me personally, I don't know about all of you, but I tend to crave junk food when I'm feeling really sluggish or really low on energy. So if I'm working out and I have tons and tons of energy, I'm not gonna crave junk food, I'm gonna crave healthy food. Hey Tiffany, how are you? How many of you agree with me? Like, Do you feel like when you're working out or when you're doing some kind of physical activity, you actually crave healthier food? Type in yes or no. Okay, awesome. Cleo says, oh yes, girl, we need to work out together. Come to New York City, I need some workout partners. Um, yes, it definitely helps me to crave healthier food. And so of course, then the benefit of eat, eating healthier, there's so many benefits, right? You can actually become smarter. Samantha says, yes. Okay, awesome girl. We need to work out together too. Um, I'm always looking for great girls to work out with. So if anybody needs a workout buddy, let me know. Um, so obviously it will help you. Um, eating better food will definitely help you to um, become smarter, 
become more focused, it'll improve your concentration, your sharpness, and even help you to sleep better, which is super, super crucial because as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, you're probably not getting enough sleep to begin with. I know I do not get enough sleep. I get about six hours a night, which is definitely not enough. Um, but I want those six hours to count. I want those six hours to be a good six hours of sleep. So it's super important that you're eating good and you're taking care of your body. So that leads me to number six, which is better focus. So better focus will obviously lead to getting more things done, being more productive, and having a, a lack of focus. A lot of us do have a lack of focus these days. You know, it's very easy to get distracted. It's very easy to come home and just watch TV or scroll through your Instagram feed, which is probably how you all found this live today. Um, but no, seriously, it's really important that we don't have a lack of focus and we start really, really being consistent and have better focus so that you can better focus on your business, right? So I find especially when I'm really lacking time, when I'm really, really pressed for time and I force myself to work out, I actually stay more focused. It sounds crazy, but it definitely works. Does anyone agree with me? You feel like when you have the least amount of time to work out, but you push yourself to work out anyway, you actually end up having more focus and actually end up getting more things done. Give me a yes if you agree, a no if you don't. Tell me why you don't agree. I definitely want to hear from you. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? Thanks for joining. Okay, let me know. I want to hear from you. I know that there are some people on, so don't be shy. Do you feel like you have better focus when you work out? Yes or no? Okay, awesome. You're saying yes. Okay, great. Perfect. So number seven, I also think that working out makes you a better multitasker. Now, my husband would totally disagree with me on this because he doesn't believe in multitasking. Okay, definitely. Yes. Okay, great. Thanks for your comments, guys. Um, yes, I believe that it helps you to be a better multitasker. And women are naturally better multitaskers than men. Okay, sorry to say this, guys, but you're just not good at multitasking. God didn't make you that way. Um, and this is also the reason why women are the ones that have the babies, okay? Because we need to multitask to have that baby. <laughs> so it's really important. Yes, women multitask the best. I agree. Um, so I believe that actually working out helps you to be better at multitasking. And this goes the same for if you do dance or if you do some kind of a sport, right? Because you're multitasking as well with all of that. So think about the next time you go to the gym or the next time you're working out, what can you kind of multitask while you're working out? You know, maybe you can do a squat and a bicep curl at the same time. And I just naturally multitask at the gym because I literally don't have enough time. I am so pressed for time. I probably work 16 to 17 hours per day. And so literally I don't have the time. So I need to multitask while I'm at the gym because I can't spend three hours doing every single muscle in my entire body every single day. So I need to multitask. If I'm doing shoulders, I'm also doing buys or I'm also doing legs, whatever. So I'm combining things together. And this is also true, and I think a lot of businesses understand that this is true because they've started to add gyms inside of businesses, right? So I just took a tour of the Google office in New York City, which by the way, coolest place to work probably ever. Hey, Mary Cruz, how are you? Nice to see you on. And so they have a gym inside their building and I know a lot of other businesses that do as well. And I know it's because they know the benefits it is for their employees. They know that their employees are going to be sharper, they're gonna get more things done and they're going to be able to multitask, which will only benefit the company. So. If companies are starting to put gyms inside their buildings and give you, you know, percentage off of gym memberships and discounts on gym memberships and all these types of things, then yes, it's definitely, there's definitely a reason for that. So Cleo says, I tend to bake dinner in the oven. Whoops. Sorry. I'm Okay. Bake dinner in the oven and do a 30 minute workout during that time. Whoa, girl. Okay. Be careful. You don't burn the house down. All right. <laughs> We don't want any accidents happening. Um, definitely be safe when you're multitasking. Oh, thanks. I know, fuchsia is my favorite color. Fashion Ninja Warrior color. Um, thanks, Tiffany. I love my earrings too, thank you. Um, yes, you wanna be safe when you're multitasking. I've definitely burned things on the stove by not paying attention and trying to multitask too much. So you might not wanna multitask with things on the stove, for instance, but yes, always set a timer and make sure you're watching it. Okay, and this leads me to number eight, which is it helps you, working out helps you to live better and live longer. So working out helps to release oxygen in your body, helps to get the blood flowing in your body, 
helps to make all of those organs and all of those things in your body work the way God intended them to be in the way that God created you to be, which will eventually help you to live longer and live better. You're going to get sick less, you're going to get injured less, which will help you have a better quality of life, which means you'll be able to focus more on your business and hopefully become successful and profitable faster so you can retire earlier. That's my goal in life. I do not want to retire at the age of 65. I would love to retire much, much earlier. So it's all about getting in shape both inside and out. Okay, Mary Cruz liked that one. She wants to retire early too. Back to the fuchsia. Oh, I love it. Hashtag back to the fuchsia. Cool hashtag. I love it, Mary Cruz. So that's all I've got for you. So tell me, what do you think? Do all of you work out? Do you find that it helps you with your business? Do you struggle to find time to work out? I know I do, especially because I am so focused on my business. Um, but let me know. I'd love to hear from you in the last couple minutes that we have. I'd love to hear what benefits you find to working out, how it's helped you. I work out every single day, says Cleo. Awesome, Cleo. That is so, so awesome. Even if you're just doing small things, you know, I'm always pressed for time. I remember when I used to work um, in corporate at my job, I literally would take the stairs every day. And one job I had, it was on the 12th floor and people looked at me like I was crazy and I probably am a little crazy, but you know what? Taking the stairs 12 flights every single morning was so good for me. And I also love to work out in the morning. I don't know about you guys, if you're better working out in the morning, working out in the afternoon or in the evenings, but I love, love working out in the morning. I think it's so, so great. Helps me to get my day started. I get so much energy. It's a great wake up in the morning. So I love working out in the morning. Sometimes at lunch when we have the kids' sports events. Yes, so you work out sometimes at lunchtime. Yes, so you have to fit it in wherever you can. Morning works well for me. Yes, Mary Cruz, definitely. I am the same way. We got to work out together, girl, next time you come up to New York City. So that's all I have for you tonight. Definitely let me know. I want to hear from you inside the Facebook Fearless Fashionpreneur group. Uh, what you want to talk about on these calls, what you want me to go over, what kind of business tips, what kind of questions you have. I definitely want to make these as interactive and beneficial for you as possible. So definitely send, send me all of your questions, hashtag FAW, or sorry, hashtag ask FAW or ask a fashion angel warrior to get your questions answered on these calls. We do these Facebook lives every Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time inside the Fearless Fashionpreneur group, as well as on Instagram. Hey, Zay, how are you? Nice to see you on. You're catching us at the end of the live video, so definitely hop on over to the Fearless Fashionpreneur Facebook group to catch the entire video. Um, this video will be deleted on Instagram at the end of this, so definitely hop on over to the Facebook group to watch all of the videos. So also, just join the group because it's a really awesome group. There's tons of fashionpreneurs, everybody's super cool, everybody's collabing with each other and helping each other. And it's really great to have just an awesome community that we can all inspire each other, motivate each other, encourage one another. You know, being an entrepreneur is really lonely at times. So definitely, we need each other to keep each other going and to lift each other up and to help each other in our businesses. So it's really great to have a community. So we've built a really great community inside the Fearless Fashionpreneur Facebook group. So definitely head on over there. Join it. Cleo says she loves the group. Awesome. I'm so glad that you're getting so much out of it. So that's it for tonight. So if you catch us here at the end, definitely make sure to hop on over to the Fearless Fashionpreneur group to watch the rest of the video. I will be here again next week, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and we'll be doing another awesome topic. So let me know what you want to talk about so that I can give you guys exactly what you need. So hope everyone has a great night. Don't forget to share this video and I'll see you all next week. Bye.